hello 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 we are back i'm filming two videos today so i'm wearing the same outfit as my previous video that i released um so <laughs> bear with the outfit um i probably could have changed it but i just too lazy really so this video is going to be a very chatty honest video on how I found my maths degree so far. I realise you can make videos very staged and say well let's split it up into all these different areas and I'll talk about them. I just thought I'd do an honest chat with you so it feels as if it's a conversation you're having with me and hopefully I'm going to answer any queries some of you have but this video is literally going to be an honest chat about how I found my maths degree so far, you know any challenges I've, I've come across and you know whether I recommend doing a maths degree so that is that is the video I'm gonna get straight into it and just talk um, like I normally do <laughs> okay so honestly if I had to kind of tell you whether I've loved you know on a scale of 1 to 10 how much I've loved my maths degree I would definitely say you know top end I'd probably say around 9 the reason I haven't given it 10 is purely because there are times when it has been challenging and this year it has been incredibly challenging with Covid so there are times where maths degrees do get hard and that's something that I'm going to say straight away if you are watching this and you want to go study a maths degree it will get hard you know if you're on a maths degree at the moment and you're thinking I can't do this it's, it's too hard it's gonna get hard and that's one thing that I'm continually gonna repeat it's bound to get hard you're at university it's different from A-levels and don't forget you don't need to know absolutely everything 70% is a first and it's a first for a reason you know 70% isn't 90% like it would be at A-level and that's because university degrees don't expect you to know absolutely everything. So my experience, I would say nine, yeah, because I honestly have loved my degree, you know, every single aspect. I've loved the teachers, I've loved the people I've met, I've made honestly my like lifelong friends at university and maths, people that are very similar to me, people that I match with incredibly well um, in my maths degree. I have enjoyed the content. The first year I love the content, second year I love the content and third year I'm loving the content you know and that's something that I think is really important for a degree is if you enjoy what you're doing then there's a guarantee that you're going to do better because you enjoy it so if you are you know thinking of modules that you want to take really look into the modules really see whether that is a module that you think yes I'm going to enjoy that or no I'm not going to enjoy it don't take it because other, your other friends are taking it you know for me fluid dynamics I'm the only person I know in fluid dynamics I don't know anybody else <laughs> there's only like I think 12 of us and none of my friends do it and it's nice to be able to do a subject that you have complete responsibility for yourself because this semester I've got obviously my math project which I know the people in my maths group for my project but in terms of my other three modules two of them i have with my friends so we can discuss you know how the course is going um help each other with homeworks and, and stuff like that i mean the homeworks aren't assessed so it's not plagiarism or anything but just kind of have a general chat about how it's going whereas fluid dynamics i don't know anyone i'm not in contact with anyone so it's like i have full responsibility for that and that's what i quite like is you know at the end of the day don't take modules because your friends are taking them take modules because you know you'll enjoy them back to everything else that i absolutely enjoy i think the content is at the right pace you'll find depending on lecturers they will teach at different paces and that's just common you know you'll get used to that throughout your year you'll have some that you have to put in a little bit more work than others and that's just because of you know their teaching style this semester has been incredibly hard um, in terms of online university it's not we don't have the same contact hours that we would have you know normally we have about 18 contact hours in a week minimum and now we have three so it's it's definitely definitely very different this semester it's been quite a challenge it's one of those you know as I said before, maths degrees are supposed to get hard, you're not supposed to know everything, you just got to persevere with it and keep going and I promise you it will you know, work out in the end. Something I'd say is at the moment obviously Covid is changing things slightly, so in terms of the support it's obviously, we are still getting a, a relatively okay amount of support from the maths department. Something I'd say is before Covid happened um, the maths department were incredibly helpful. So if you watch my other video, my Q&A video, um, I kind of told you about something that, that I struggled with slightly just before I went to university and I told the maths department about it and they were honestly absolutely incredible. They got the right people involved, they set up the special circumstances for me and I felt so much more at ease you know i went to the director of student education spoke to him about it and he got things sorted so in terms of leads anyway maths department 
they are there if you need help so just reach out there there are people specifically for you know students that are struggling that have things that are going on in their lives just reach out to them that's something i'll say is you know make the most of you're paying a lot of money for university make the most of the resources that are there don't sit in silence don't struggle reach out to the people and i can guarantee you they will help that's one piece of advice is if you are struggling reach out to your friends tell your friends if your friends then turn around and go well i'm not struggling don't listen to them because that can be you know sometimes you know there's always this element of competition i personally don't have it with my friends at the moment because i've got some incredibly nice friends and they're not like that but if you are you know in first year you end up kind of falling into these friendship groups and if there are friendship groups, if, if people in your friendship group aren't supportive, then you know there are people that will there are people that will be supportive, especially in the um, university. So that's something. Don't sit, don't struggle in silence. Um, don't sit there and think, well, it's going to get better. It's fine. You know there are people that you can reach out to. That's something I'm going to say on this channel as well. Just reach out to people. In terms of exams, uh, personally, I found my exams so much better than my A level exams, and that's because at university you have a module. You have a lecturer that lecturer will give you example sheets they'll give you tutorials homework sheets and that same lecturer that has written those example sheets and homework sheets writes the exam so what you're finding is your module is being taught by that one person and that one person is writing the exam so listen to what they say it's not like at a level where your teachers teach you the content and then you go and set an exam that's been set by an examination board your what your exam has been set by the person that is lecturing you so listen to what they say sometimes they may even drop hints here and there about you know oh well this may come up in the exam this may not so just listen that's something that is really important to bear in mind because of that i found exams incredibly nicer in my first semester oh my gosh i was terrified that they were going to go terrible just purely because my a-level exams you know we learn a-level stuff and then they just ruined the the exam was terrible it was you know incredibly hard compared to previous years and i'm sure if any of you are in my year then you'll probably have experienced that as well but in terms of exams at university i find they're actually a lot nicer because the lecturer is is doing them but that doesn't mean you don't need to revise 100 percent revise go through past papers go through past example sheets you know look at previous years that they've that they've taught because it's really important that the way they write questions is going to be the way that they write questions in the exam so that's a piece of advice i'd give in terms of honest opinions and and as i said this is a chatty video i've loved it I, honestly i've absolutely loved it but because i've loved it that doesn't mean that every single person loves it there will be people out there that have struggled and i will admit at times i have really struggled this semester has been incredibly hard with covid and there have been times where you know other things have got in the way um, of university work and it's okay one thing that i just want to keep reiterating is it's okay if you are struggling if things are getting hard because i know so many people in a maths degree that do find things hard and not just a maths degree but any degree university can be incredibly hard amidst you know having all the fun that you do have at university but in terms of my honest opinion i have loved it you know i there's not one single regret i have i've met the most incredible people i've had the most incredible teachers lecturers um, even PhD students, you know, have been so approachable. I find Leeds maths department, um, you'll have a few lecturers that may not be as approachable, but most of them, incredibly approachable, will, you know, send you lecture notes that you need if you need them during the summer because the university cancelled astrophysical fluid dynamics, which I was very sad about. You know, I couldn't do that this year. I emailed the lecturer and said, I really love, you know, fluid dynamics. I really want to go down this route. Um, would I be able to have a look at the lecture notes just because I'm not going to be able to study the module? And, and I did that to two people and they sent me um, the lecture notes and it was just lovely to have even had you know a response and the same I, I sent so many different messages about projects and I, I got good responses from everyone so um, you know the teachers lecturers support everything I've found you know to be phenomenal so the content I've loved everything in the content as I said take modules that you know you're going to enjoy and don't worry in first year you get given loads of different modules and same with second year you have compulsory modules but don't worry because they are giving you a taste of everything else you know don't worry that they're so different because you if you didn't do one of them you may never know that that's what you wanted to go into like later in your um university degree so the content I've loved the content, I've loved the people, I've loved the teachers, the lecturers, you know, every every lecturer has a different teaching style um, and it's, you kind of understand how you're supposed to revise and learn according to different lecturers, um, that's something that you just pick up in first year. In terms of the overall degree, I've like honestly loved it, 
um, and if there is anyone out there that is wanting to do a maths degree I would encourage you to but what I'd say is and this is a piece of advice I think I've given throughout my other videos do it because you enjoy it so with anybody that's doing any degree do your degree because you enjoy it because it will get so much easier when things get harder because I love maths it's okay you know it's not like I'm stuck in a rut I know that I enjoy it and it helps me get through that so if you are thinking of doing maths at university make sure you do enjoy it make sure that you know you have this love for it like maybe you've, even if it's only a small love um, that's better than nothing it's better than those students that go to university and say well I'm going to do maths because it looks good um, and it's going to get me into this job do a degree that you love and that is the best piece of advice I can give like I said it will help you throughout your degree in terms of the workload the workload has been incredible it's been you know absolutely fine I found first year was probably the hardest but that was because I was so determined to get every single thing done um, and then you realize that sometimes you don't need to get every single thing done um, I think I did suffer from burnout in first semester um, like halfway through around October around Halloween time I suffered burnout massively and that's because I was trying too hard to get every single thing done and what I've learned is as long as you prioritize the things that you need to get done that is the most important thing but in terms of the workload at university yeah I think maths compared to other degrees has a higher workload that's just my experience from having friends in other kind of disciplines I think it's up there with some other isn't you know it's not the hardest I think there's probably harder ones especially in first year as well the workload is quite intense but that's okay because the thing is if you're better to get a degree that's intense rather than one that you don't do anything because I think with a degree that where they're asking you to do these tutorial questions homework questions you are continually revising things in your head I would much prefer that than them say well you don't need to do them they don't count for anything um you know here's a couple of example sheets and then you just don't do them i think having that routine of here's example sheets do them um sometimes they are assessed sometimes they're not i think it's really important for you for you as a student because you because you are continually learning um up until the end of semester and then when it comes to revising it makes things a whole lot easier so don't stress too much about the workload i think you can manage the workload incredibly easy it's not the worst thing in the world you know there are time there are you do have time to do other things so the workload again is is great as an overall comment you know i've realized this has just been a very much kind of random chatty vlog it hasn't had much structure to it but that's because i wanted to be honest and, and not staged and rehearsed i just wanted to be completely honest and say look this is how i found my maths degree yeah i honestly absolutely loved it nine out of ten for me and my university has been really good as well i've enjoyed the university of leeds and i think it was a really good choice for me but as a final note i i'm going to say that i i love maths you know i've loved it at university it's allowed me to go into areas that i wasn't you know i didn't even knew i liked before um and that's what is really nice about maths degrees there's so much variety as well and i know i've reiterated all of this in my q a video that i did and my everything i learned in my first year maths degree but as i said everything that i've said in this video it's completely honest and that's the best thing i, I think i wish i had someone that was completely honest rather than someone that faked it um you know i, I want to be very true to the people that are out there that are, that are thinking of doing a maths degree it is okay i've loved it i've, I've honestly loved every single second of it and I'm sure if you do a math degree as well, you will too. As I said on all my videos, if anybody has any questions, then just send me a message on social media. Instagram is probably the best. Um, sometimes they don't come through until like a week later for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's my phone because it's quite an old phone. Um, but I'll do my best to answer any questions. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I realise it's been a bit not structured but hopefully you've got a, a basic gist of you know how i found my maths degree and i'm hoping that if you go and study a maths degree you will have the exact same experience or i'm hoping so anyway but that is the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to check out my code of the future channel where i'm teaching people how to code i'll see you all in the next video